Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up an Active Directory domain controller on Google Cloud Platform. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing for Google Cloud Platform. And from here, you want to create a new virtual machine with this particular image. So simply click on launch. After that, you would be brought to this page from where you can choose or customize your virtual machine. So give your virtual machine a deployment name. Choose the region or zone where you want to deploy your virtual machine. Scroll down and choose the machine type according to your requirements. Scroll down even more and choose the disk space according to your requirements as well. And finally accept the agreement and then click on deploy. After that, you would have to wait for the deployment process to complete. Once the deployment process is completed, you want to connect to the RDP protocol of your virtual machine. So for that simply click over here and click on set windows password. After that, it is going to ask you for the username. So give yourself a username. So I'm going to call mine as CIS admin and then click on set. After that, it is going to show us a password. So simply copy this password and save it inside a new text file and keep it secure because this is the password that we would be using to connect to the RDP service of our virtual machine. After that, to connect to this virtual machine, what we're going to do is that we're going to click on this hamburger icon and then click on compute engines. And in here, we are going to simply copy the external IP address and then we are going to open up a remote desktop connection. So hit windows and search for remote desktop connection. So in here, you're going to paste in the IP address that you just copied and then click on show more options. And then you're going to type in the username that you're given to your virtual machine, which was CIS admin and then click on connect. After that, it is going to ask you for the password. So type in the password that you have saved and then click on remember me and then click on OK. And then you have to click on yes. After that, it is going to start up a remote session with our newly created virtual machine. So wait for the virtual machine to fully load. Now in this remote session, the very first thing that you want to do is that you want to configure a static IP. For that, simply open up a command prompt and type in IP config forward slash all and then hit enter. So what we are going to do is that we are going to copy some of this command and paste it inside our network settings. So simply right click on this network icon and then click on network and internet settings. After that, click on change adapter options and then right click on your adapter and click on properties and then click on internet protocol version 4 and then click on properties once more and then click on use the following IP address. Now for the IP address, I'm simply going to copy the IPv4 address from over here. And also for the subnet mask, I'm going to copy this one and paste it inside my properties. And for the default gateway, I'm going to copy this default gateway. Now for the primary DNS, since it is running on my local host for my Google Cloud, so I'm going to type in the IP address for my local host, which is 127.0.0.1. And then I'm going to click on OK and wait for the validation to complete. And once that is done, simply close the settings. After that, we can simply exit from the network connections from this settings as well and as well as from the command prompt. Now what we can do is that we can move on to setting up our active directory. So simply click on this icon and then click on this flag and click on promote to domain controller. So that is going to open up a configuration wizard and we are going to go through this configuration wizard. Now to start off, we are going to add in a new forest and for the domain name or the root domain name, I am going to call it rebel admin dot net and then hit next now in the domain controller option leave the forest function level as default and leave the domain function level as default as well give yourself a password after that simply click on next now for the dns option we're going to go with the default dns and simply click on next and then for the net bios domain name we're going to go with the default one and click on next and for the paths we are again going to go with the default paths click on next and then review option, this is where you can review all of the settings that you're going with. So if you want to change anything, review them from here, go to this settings and change them. But if you are satisfied with these settings, simply click on next. And then it is going to run a prerequisite check. Now in the prerequisite check, you might get this error that verification of prerequisite for domain controller promotion failed, the local administrator account becomes the domain administrator account. So what we need to do is that we need to click on tools and then we need to click on computer management. And in this computer management, 
we need to click on local users and groups and then select users and what we want is that we want to give a password to this administrator account so right click on it and click on set password click on proceed and then type in your password and by the way if you want to change the password from which you log into the rdp session you can do that by giving a password to cis admin anyways that is not the concern for this video so i'm going to simply close this computer management tab and then head back to my wizard and then click on rerun the prerequisite check so you can see that all the prerequisite checks passed successfully now we can click on install to begin the installation of active directory domain services so click on install and then you need to simply wait for the installation process to finish after the installation process is done it is going to send you out and then what you want to do is that you want to again open up the remote desktop connection and then reconnect to this particular virtual machine and then again you would have to type in the password so type in the password and then click on ok and then when prompted simply hit yes so this is again going to log you into our virtual machine using the remote desktop connection now once you are again logged into our virtual machine using the rdp connection if you want to open up the active directory control panel or the administrator panel then you want to click on tools and then click on active directory administrator center so that is going to open up the administrator center for active directory and from here you can actually manage all of your active directories anyways that was it for this tutorial now if you have any queries regarding this tutorial make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and make sure to check out the link in the description box for the marketplace listing for google cloud platform and also for the step-by-step -step blog post guide on how to set up active directory on google cloud platform Finally, if this video has helped you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.